Hi, I'm Ryder Carroll, creator of the Bullet Journal Method, and today's question comes from Louise Bornbeck on YouTube. The question is, when rapid logging, where do I write down tasks that don't need to get done on a specific day, week, month, or year, just someday? That's a great question that brings up another important question. How do we resurface something with no date after we write it down? Let me tackle both, starting with how to capture something that we want to get around to someday. During the day, you rapid log your thoughts into your daily log as they occur. Your daily log serves as a catch-all for whatever comes up during the day. You can think of it as an externalized mental inbox. You write down everything there first, including thoughts that may have to go somewhere else later, like into your future log or even other apps and calendars. When you have one go-to place to capture your thoughts this way, you don't have to worry about where you wrote things down later. It just makes things easier. Once in a while, we run across a thing that sparks our curiosity, but it's vague. It doesn't have to get done at a certain time. It kind of falls into this gray area between a goal and maybe a project we don't know yet. The daily log is a perfect place to park any kind of thought when it surfaces. You can find homes for those things later, like during your daily, weekly, or monthly Bujo rituals. Which brings us back to the question, where do you put things that have no date? For me, there are two places. The first being the future log. I don't use my future log the way that I initially created it, because I use different tools for that now. If you're interested, you can watch the video linked here. Instead, my future log now serves as a menu of experiences that I've identified as having the potential of bringing joy or meaning into my life. This list mostly consists of things that fall into that gray area that I had talked about before, between a task and a project. The template for setting up this version of the someday in the future log is a simple task list. This makes it easy to work with and to track. The second place that I write things down with no date is a custom collection. I create a custom collection when I start to notice that a pattern of interest emerges. Maybe it's about an article, or a project, or an experience, but I start to notice that there are a lot of notes in my bullet journal related to this thing. When I notice a connection, I set up a custom collection to help me funnel all my thinking into one place. This brings us to the second part of this question which is how do I resurface entries with no date? This is what the daily, weekly, and monthly Bujo rituals are for, specifically the monthly ritual. During my monthly ritual, I go back through my someday in the future log and my open custom collections and choose what to work on in the month ahead. That's when someday things start to become real. Choosing what to invest my time and energy into can be hard sometimes. So before automatically plopping something into my task list or my calendar, I ask myself two questions. Is it vital and does it matter? They're simple questions, but they've helped me weed out countless distractions. For example, I found that many things in my someday in the future log have a pretty short shelf life, and that's okay. There are many things in life to get excited about, but there are very few things that we remain excited about. That's a critical distinction to make before we start working on something. Time is often the most powerful tool for helping us make this distinction. For example, I regularly wait for a few months before jumping into projects, even when I'm really excited to work on them. I do this to watch the trajectory of my excitement over time. Often that excitement simply fizzles out relatively quickly. Again, that's okay. It turns out that I just wasn't all that interested. Other times though, I can feel my excitement building every time I revisit my someday ideas during my Bujo rituals. To me, that's a solid indication that I've actually connected with something worth my time. Okay, let's recap. I write down someday tasks in my daily log first. Then later, I will migrate those items into my future log or a collection dedicated to more complex endeavors. I use Bujo rituals to help me regularly revisit those ideas and see which ones continue to resonate. This is what's so exciting about bullet journaling. Each month, I get to choose which ideas to begin working on and which ones to leave behind, leaving me more focused and less distracted. That way, I remain aware of and excited about the things that I get to work on now and all the things that I'll get around to someday. 
Thank you for your question, Louise, and congratulations on winning access to Bujo U, our members only social network for all things Bullet Journal. For your chance to win access to Bujo U, please be sure to submit any questions you have in the comments below. If your question is picked, you'll get a free membership as a little thank you. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe to this channel where I'll be posting more videos to answer your questions. If you want to continue deepening your Bujo practice, we have a series of playlists here on the channel for you to explore. Thank you for taking the time. Happy bullet journaling, and I'll see you in the next one.